Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is we will discuss how to simplify complex fractions. But before that, let's define what is a complex fraction. When a fraction contains fractions in either the numerator or denominator or both, then we can consider it to be a complex fraction. This type of fraction is also known as compound fraction. So we have here different methods today kung paano ba isimplify ang isang complex fraction. We have method number one and method number two. By using a single complex fraction, we will demonstrate how to use method number one and method number two. So let's move on to our example number one. So we have here, in method number one, how to do it. First, you need to create a single fraction in a, in a numerator and denominator. Second, you need to apply the division rule of fractions by multiplying the numerator by the reciprocal of or inverse of the denominator. And lastly, don't forget this one, simplify if necessary. In this given complex fraction, we have 2x cubed over 3y all over x squared over 6y. Uh, both the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction are already expressed as a single fraction. So, kung mananotice nyo, in the given complex fraction na hindi pa siya, hindi pa single fraction yung numerator at denominator, pwede kang gumawa ng paraan para maging single fraction siya. And then you will apply method number one. So, since naka-single fraction ng ating numerator and denominator, eto, elaborate lang natin. This part, ito yung ating numerator of the complex fraction. This one is already a single fraction. And then, yung denominator mo na x squared over 6y is already a single fraction. And then, since naka single fractions na sila, we will proceed to the division rule. Ang division rule natin is we will multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of your denominator. So, copy natin yung numerator natin which is 2x cubed over 3y. Nasa nagpapo ba tayo? And then, multiply it by the reciprocal of x squared over 6y which is 6y over x squared. As you can see, meron tayong mga terms na pwedeng simplify na. Like this one. Yung 3 by 6, this is 2. Tama? Then yung variable y natin, here, and this one, na may cancel out na. Another, sa x variable, since ito ay x squared, we can eliminate x squared, at ito ay magiging x na lang. So, 1 or 1. So, we have here 2x over 1 times 2 over 1. And multiplying these fractions, ang simplified form na naman meron tayo ay 4x. This is the answer for item number one, using method number one. Again, yung method number one natin, you need to secure whether the numerator and denominator are already expressed in a single fraction. And then, you will apply division rule, multiply mo lang yung numerator mo by the reciprocal of your denominator, and then simplify if necessary. Have a done? And then, let's move on to method number two. In method number two, sabi, find the least common denominator or LCD of all the denominators of the complex fraction. Next, multiply this LCD to the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction. And lastly, again, simplify if necessary. As you can see, we have here the same problem in item, or the item number one. As you can see, you have here your denominator as your 3y. This is the denominator of your numerator. And then, this is the denominator of your denominator. 
Sabi dyan, you need to get the LCD. Hanapin natin yung find the LCD of your denominators. So, ang denominator natin dyan ay, since yan ay 6y and 3y, automatic that is 6y. Tama? So, paano bin process na gagawin natin? Let's move on tayo. Move on tayo rito. Gagawin natin dyan is we will multiply 2x cube over 3y. So, lahat lang muna natin. All over x squared over 6y. Since meron na tayong LCD na 6y, we will multiply it or we will multiply our numerator by the LCD. I see kanyang sulat natin. Ito numerator natin, i-multiply natin by the LCD which is 6y. Same with your denominator. Itong denominator natin, na x squared over 6y, yung multiply lang natin by the LCD na 6y. So, pag multiply natin yan, maka-cancel natin yung y, yung y, same with 6 and 3. Ito yung magiging 2 na lang. Nakasunod. And then, in your denominator, cancel lang natin yung 6y, kasi pareha sila, 6y. Multiply natin, simplify natin, that will be, that will give you 4 x cubed. Tama? All over x squared. And as you can see, you have the expression 4x cubed over x squared. We can cancel out x squared. And then, yung x cubed natin, magiging 1 na lang kanyang exponent. So, the final answer here is simply 4x. Using method number 2. Kung i-compare natin, yung answer natin from using method number 1, they are the same. 4x and this is 4x using method number 1. So, either of the two pwede niyang gamitin depende sa given problem. Pero, ang kalimit ang ginagamit dito ay yung method number 2. So, by the way, we will be creating another video regarding simplifying complex fractions. At kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to subscribe para updated ka sa ating latest videos. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.